Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are starting a new leg of our Cottage Living Let's Play. We are starting a rags to riches with little Amina here. She's just become a young adult and she's moved out on her own to this abandoned rundown cottage out in the Bramblewood. And she's got a lot of work to do to make this place a home. As you can see, it's really trashed and crazy and just a big mess. And then if you go inside, it's like a total mess. Everything's stained and dirty and there's trash everywhere. And there's not even any lights in the house. It's like a big mess. But yeah, this is where we're going to be starting the new rag searches. Amina is here. She has nothing to her name. She spent all her money buying this place. And she has absolutely nothing except for a couple things that she brought from home with her. She has her postcards that she got from writing to pen pals when she was younger. She has a painting that her brother made for her, and she has some pictures of her family. And that's literally all she has. She doesn't have a single simoleon. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and start trying to make some money. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just sort of look around the Bramblewood, because I don't know where all the stuff is here. The only place I've played is at like their house. So um, there's a lot here. It's like absolutely gorgeous. The Bramblewood is so pretty. Like this waterfall is just like gorgeous. Like I think there's a little sitting point over here. Oh, there's like a little fishing point, a little fishing spot. That's really cute there. It's really pretty. And then I thought I saw, yeah, down here. There's like this little bench right by the waterfall. This would be like a beautiful proposal place. So we might have to keep that in mind later, but look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start looking around for stuff like, uh, like collectibles and diggables and stuff like that. So there's one right here. Um, I sort of been looking around a little bit on my own and I didn't really see a whole lot. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of plants here and like most of them that I've seen are out on this island over here with the ruins and all the ones I've seen are out of season, which really sucks. Um, I think there's frogs here so we can get those. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to go around and look for some more stuff. I think there's some more on this island. Like I think there's mushrooms and stuff. Um, what is this? Raspberry that's not, in, not even grown. Um, Patrick has some questionable CC on. Okay. But anyways, um, that's really all I'm seeing. Where's the creature keeper? I think he has something in front of his house, right? Where does he live? I don't, it's down here. Okay. So like down here, he's got another chocolate berry, but I can't, I can't harvest that one either. I wonder why that one chocolate berry is harvestable, but nothing else is. Hmm. Oh, well, that's weird. What does he have here? Is that a plant? No, that, is that a meat cube? Faux jerky cube. I don't think that's how planting works, Michael. I, I don't think that's how it works. Um, okay, <laughs> interesting. Let's see if he's around here. Focus camera on the creature tape. Oh, there he is, hold on. I wanna see if I can get an errand from him. I didn't know you could run across this thing. <gasps> that's so cool. I didn't think you could actually run across that. That's awesome. Okay, um, we need to talk to him. Um, offer help with errands. Let's see what sort of things he has for us. Okay, so he's got Mushroom Madness, A Simple Request, and Second Nature. Okay, so reading over it, um, I don't think I can do these really. Cause like, I mean like the Mushroom one and the Simple Request one. Cause like for this one you have to forage stuff and like nothing's really forageable right now. And then for this one, you have to have ingredients, and that means either foraging or buying stuff. And again, there's no, for there's nothing to forage, and I have 20 simoleons to my name, so I can't really afford to buy anything. However, the second nature one seems like it's one where you just talk to animals. So I'm going to go ahead and try that one, because I think that one should be easy enough. Okay, converse with two foxes. Okay, um, let's see if we can find a fox. Ooh, before we go do that, let's go over to the snail here, because I think you can search for stuff here, right? Yeah, it just says she found something. Okay. Ooh. Hey, okay. You, it's not, like, the best picture of the snail. It's kind of, like, blending into the rock a little bit, but whatever. There's a fox here. Okay, um, I'm going to have her come back then, so we can try to talk to this fox. I guess we have to watch it first, and then maybe we can talk to it. Hopefully the fox doesn't run away while we're trying to get back here because we've got a long way to go. Oh, did you just go in my house? 
Patrick wants to chat. Sure, Patrick. You and your weird CC can talk to me. That's fine. Okay, why do foxes just run into your house randomly? Like, that's not... I, I don't like that mechanic. <laughs> oh, and now he wants to come over. Um, sure. Let's see what that weird CC is. Where's Amina? Is she close yet? Girl, why aren't you running? You're walking so slow. <laughs> it's going to take you forever to get here. Oh my god. Okay, well anyways, I never read this pop-up thing that Michael said. So what does the fox say? Wait, don't answer. That's a rhetorical question. Because you haven't gone and talked to one yet. Come woman, and I'm not making myself clear? Run along and talk to a fox. I must know what's on the woodland friend's minds. Okay. Patrick's gonna end up- Whoa! I didn't invite you in. Why are you just in my house? Like, I know you're my brother, but come on. That's, that's rude. You're not supposed to just go into somebody's house without their permission. Go watch the fox so we can talk to him, please. And maybe talk to your brother. Oh, God. No, don't leave, fox. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. Don't leave. 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 I just became acquaintances, so just watching it makes you acquaintances. Okay, don't leave. Do not. No. Don't leave. <laughs> Oh, come on, I need to- I want to talk to it. Don't- don't leave. Mr. Carrot! I need to talk to you! Ugh. Damn it. Great. Okay, well, there's that. Yeah, anyway, she can sit and talk with her brother for a little bit. Um, and then, um, once they finish talking, I'll probably send her into town for a little bit to try to get some other errands, because I think you can have three at a time. So I'll try to get her to have some other ones. I'd really like her to get the ones from the mayor because those are like the just general, like easy ones, just figuring out the town. So um, those ones aren't very hard. So I want to try to do those ones. So if we can find the mayor, that would be great. All right, so Patrick's on his way out. Um, I guess he just wanted to come by and check on us since we were living in this junk hole. And oh, is that Carrot? Is that Mr. Carrot? Hold on, stop moving, stop. No, it's a new one, Wild Foxtrot. Okay, I guess we'll watch wild for a little bit see if we can maybe talk to this one once we watch it talk to wild where'd you go where you go hey 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 leave the bunny alone leave the bunny alone stop please stop stop don't don't mess with the bunny <laughs> oh my god did it count yes it did okay cool um i'm gonna scare him because <laughs> you were trying to get the bunny <laughs> that oh my god Oh, he actually liked that. <laughs> okay, fun. Um, let's chat again. Let's just try to talk to like, let's try to talk to him. See if he wants to be our friend. Her singing voice is a lot loud, a lot higher than her like talking voice. Oh, uh, well, the fox seems to like her. That's good. And now what's she doing? She's gonna do talk to the bunny. Oh, is the bunny our friend? <gasps> Cute. So precious. Oh my god. Okay, and that actually helped with our um aspiration a little bit too. Let's have her go ahead and go into town now since she's talked to these guys. Um, and maybe we can stop at the bar and get some food because she is starting to get hungry and obviously we can't afford anything. So uh, we'll take her in and get some chips and then hopefully get set up with another errand or two. All right, so here we are. And coming into the uh, Finchwick actually gave us our thing down here for, because we used to live in um, old New Hempford with her family. We now live in Bramblewood and we just finally visited Finchwick because the only time she's visited here was as a kid. So she didn't have this aspiration yet when she was a kid. So, um, let's go ahead and get some food. Um, we're not going to pay for anything because we are broke. So let's just grab some chips and then I'm going to look around for the mayor because I want to do her errands. Oh, I didn't find the mayor, but I did find a rare site. Bob and Eliza pancakes out in the wild together. I've never seen that. But no, um, I've seen Agatha, I've seen Kim, but no mayor. So uh, maybe we'll just talk to her instead, the bartender, and see what she has. So a simple request, signature drink, and a friendly visit. So these two seem like they need you to get ingredients. So I'm not gonna do those because again, I can't afford ingredients. Um, so I'll do this one because this one's a friendly visit. It seems like you just have to talk to people in town So I'll go ahead and take that one And let's see what she says Have a Henford heart to heart with three important Henford on Bagley residents Do you count? Can I have a Henford heart to heart with you? Well, that counts. Okay, so it looks like the Henford heart to heart did not work with her um, However, it did give us a good reputation uh, But let's see what she actually says about the task 
I haven't had a chance at a proper chin wag recently with some of the other locals, so I'm going to send you in my stead. Catch up on what's been happening around Finchwick and maybe even make a few friends. These sims are the ones that keep the village running after all. Okay, so let's see if we can find anyone else who's important. Alright, so we slept the whole night on the sofa and we're up getting our chips, but it is now like pouring rain outside like a full on thunderstorm. So I highly doubt I'm going to get any of the locals that I need out here. So I'll probably, like, once she finishes eating, I'll probably just take her straight back home. And that way we can try to look for foxes. If ho Hopefully, if it's not, like, pouring down rain back in the Bramblewood, too. Oh! Hold on. <laughs> in the middle of my running, I just ran past Agnes. Hold on. Polite introduction. We gotta talk to Agnes. Go back. I know it's pouring down rain and you're terrified, but you have to go. We gotta have a Henford heart to heart. And we'll check Agnes's uh, errands too, but I don't think there's any I can do right now. Oh, that guy's coming too. And there's Kim. Oh my god, everybody's coming. As soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I decide to leave, everybody shows up. <laughs> okay, did we have our Henford heart to heart? Did it count? Oop, hold on. All right, so she's got two errands, another useless Taurus, or Sal, what's new? So, Sal, so, so. I think that's another way to say so. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Mm, so that one, she wants me to grow a pumpkin. I can't do that. And this is another thing where she wants me to grow plants. Okay, yeah, so I can't really do either of hers, so that sucks. Um, we'll just have to talk to you later, Agnes. Uh, let's talk to Kim and have a head for Henford heart to heart. And where's this dude? He needs to hurry up and get over here. There he is. We can have a Henford heart to heart with you too. Some say Lord Volp, the founder of Finchwick, had a pet fox, while others insist that he had a pet snail. There are no definitive records either way, but I like the I like to think that Sophie the snail is proof positive that he was a snail man. Why else would there be a snail maze in the Bramblewood? If you want your food to keep for a long time and you've got a stove, try canning it. You can can all sorts of things, pumpkins, lettuce, watermelons, and if you add just a bit of sugar to your fruit, you'll get jam. Who doesn't love jam? Cool. Did we do a Hunford heart to heart with this dude? Uh, ooh. I can ask for birthday money. No, I'm not going to do that. That's cheating. It's cheating. We're not going to do that. Oh, um, well, I didn't actually mean to do that one. But yeah, we can check for errands for him. But also we need to do a Henford heart to heart. Uh, taste for adventure and creature comforts. Okay, so this one he wants ingredients, so I can't do that one. But this one, it seems like he's just like looking to go outside of the village. So that might be possible. Plus one of the rewards is postcards. And Amina loves postcards. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take that one. And that fills up all of our um, things. Oh, let's see what he said. Have you ever had a dream? I dream every day of seeing the world, but my life has kept me here so far. For now, do you think I could live vicariously through your travels? Take a picture of some place far flung and spectacular and bring it to me. I do so wish I could make the mayor understand. Do you know that I've never even had a chocolate pie? I just want to live. Oh, crap. Is he going to ask me to make a chocolate pie? I can't make a chocolate pie. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to make a chocolate pie. The first part is easy. You take a photo outside of Hemford on Bagley, then talk to the mayor. That's fine. But give a chocolate pie. I I can't make a chocolate pie. I don't have, like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Fine, whatever. Just do the stupid Hemford heart to heart. That's the way I can finish this other task. Well, it's tradition to give the grocery delivery person Yorkshire pudding around here. And no, I'm not making that part up about tradition. So that I'll get more free pudding. Preposterous. Okay. Cool, whatever. Um, so there we go. That is that the whole thing? Am I done? Yay, I am. I got hundred ten dollars. So I mean hundred ten simoleons. Awesome. So let's see. Did she say anything when I finished? Ooh, I unlocked the aubergine cross stitch pattern. Ooh. Uh one of the best things about living in Hemford on Bagley is a sense of community that everyone here helps foster. Thanks for checking in with a few of the locals and don't be a stranger. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see what all we've got. Ooh. We got cottage pie, yummy. All right, and we got another choco berry and a raspberry and an upgrade part. Cool, okay, Um, so I'm gonna sell the upgrade part straight off. Don't need that. Uh, so that gets us a little more money. 
the cottage pie she can actually eat like mm, she can probably eat it now she's like half hungry so let's have her go ahead and eat that before it spoils and then we've got some plants that we can take home and plant that'll be awesome and uh, we can use some of this money to start cleaning up some area at her house. So that way she can actually plant some stuff because she doesn't want to plant in all that trash and everything. So we'll just let her hang out here and talk with her dad and some of these other villagers real quick. And then once she's finished with all that, we'll go ahead and take her home. So I just realized there's actually a kitchen here. Um, so I'm going to go down and see. I wonder if I can make a choco pie here. Blueberry pie. Yeah, see, they put pies under cook too. I don't have chocolate pie. Oh, does she have to be a higher level? She's cooking level three. How high do you have to be to make a chocolate pie? No, oh, I have to be level five to make it. Damn it. Okay. Well, fine. Um, her needs are looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take her home and we can try to, like, we can pay somebody to clean up a little bit of the trash and then we can plant our little garden. So that way we can start making a little bit of money. So now that we're back, uh, oh, Camilla came here to visit us. You can say hi to Camilla. And then there's this random guy. I don't care who he is. We're not talking to him. He, he just, why, why are you here? Uh, but we can talk to Camilla and we can also look at the fox. Uh, let's talk, let's look at this fox. You can try to talk to that one. Ba -ba -pow. <laughs> okay, so there's two new boxes here. Um, we'll try this one because I already got it and it, it it's gone. It's leaving. It's leaving. It's running away. No, you just have to invite her in. You don't have to go in with her. Come on. Hold on. I will be right back, Camilla. I have to talk to this box first. It's important. Well, there's another one. How far did it get? Oh, please don't say it got really far. Is it this one way down here? Am I chasing this thing? All the way down here. Are, oh my god. Just fast forward. I swear. If I follow this box all the way to the stupid tree and it disappears, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, where'd it go? Are you kidding me? Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, so it let me watch the fox. Like, it. I... I followed it all the way here, but this is where it despawned. So I don't, I don't actually get to talk to it now that I've watched it. It's so annoying. Ah, uh, okay. We gotta go find another one. Uh, they're all back at my house that I just went away from. Ah, <laughs> uh, so stupid. Where's another fox? Oh come on! Didn't, don't tell me you all left, please. There were like four of them. Oh, there's one. There's one. It's stalking the bunny. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Why are they fighting? Why is it so mean? Oh my god. Oh, the bunny wins. Okay, hold on. Oh, let me see if that fox will stick around. Who are you? Wubba pow. Wubba pow. Wubba pow. Wubba pow. Let's talk to Wubba pow. Please don't leave Wapapow. Please, 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 please. <laughs> please don't leave. <laughs> I can't afford it. Come on. And there it goes running in and out of my house. Just like every other fox. Why? It's really annoying. I don't like that mechanic at all. Like, why do they go inside and out? Like, it's a wild fox. Why would it just be running into somebody's house? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. We watched the Wapapow. Now pause. Don't you dare go away. We need to talk. Nice. We talked to the two foxes and I had to talk to the creature keeper. Great. Okay. Uh, let's go see if he's around. He's here. Cool. So we can come down here and talk to him. It fills me with joy to see you bonding with local wildlife and giving them attention while I'm busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I scraped together to show my appreciation. Cool. All right. So what did we get? We got llama wool. We got a bunny costume. Cute. And we got some cherries and a lemon. Cool. All right. And then this fossil rock is the one we dug up, so we can just sell that. But cool. We've got even more plants, which is awesome. Um, we've got a bunny costume, so when we become friends with a bunny, we can give that to them, which would be super cute. Uh, but anyways, let's head back. God, these ducks. <laughs> They look like little demons. <laughs> they look so creepy. Uh, but anyways, let's head back to the house. 
So we have 340 simoleons and we want to clear out a little bit of space to plant stuff. So naturally we'd want to clear out some of our garden. Um, <laughs> I think it'd probably be good to start back in this corner because this already has like some clear areas back here. Um, so yeah, I've just cleared this little bit of area. Um, I don't want to do too much because like I want it to be somewhat realistic because like She'd have to pay, like, since I'm not building the house, I have to give her enough struggle else, elsewhere. So the struggle will be in paying to get rid of all this stuff. So I don't want to get rid of, like, too much. Because, like, oh, she should probably get this one. Mm, maybe not. That's a bit big. You can, she can get rid of the trash bags. So we'll get rid of, like, some of, like, the little stuff. Um, But, like, for the most part, she's not being able to get rid of everything. Because, like she can only afford to like have like i'm assuming that she's having people come in like she either she's paying people to come get rid of it or she has to like buy like a disposal thing to put the trash in like um like you know when people rent those big huge trailers that they put out in front of their yard like when they're doing renovations or something they get those like big huge trailers and they throw all the trash in you have to rent those so it's like that sort of thing where i assume she has to like buy that in order to get rid of this trash so I'll have her get rid of some of it, like not a whole lot, um, but I think just like a little bit of it, like a decent amount. She can get rid of some of the weeds too, like not a lot of them because like a lot of them are still buried in the trash, but yeah, she can get rid of some of them. And then that way she has a little bit of space here to actually do her planting and we can like set up a little bit of a garden for her to use and that way she can start doing some other stuff. All right, so she's got the lemon. We can put that there and then she's got choco berries. Uh, we can put those here. Cherry. I think cher cherry's a tree too. So um, we can put that over here and by the lemon, I think. And then raspberry can go next to the choco berry and then spinach next to that. All right. So all our stuff's planted so we can go ahead and water it and get it all good. And then I want to try to make friends with this bunny because if we can get it to help gardening, that would be awesome. Okay, so Amina was dancing for the rabbit and decided she liked it, so we can let her go ahead and like dancing. Um, and Nanami, do you mind if I, happy birthday Amina, do you mind if I come make you some cake? Um, I, my birthday passed, but I'd love to see you, you're supposed to be my best friend, so yeah, you can come over. Yay, okay, they're, they're officially best friends now, which is cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give her keys because I feel like if she's her best friend, you'd let her come over whenever. And we can just talk and hang out for a little bit. All right, I just realized we can sell some of her pictures because um, she's got the pictures from the selfie she took with the snail. But also I just took some pictures with uh, Nanami. So we can sell some of those too. Okay. And then I need to get rid of her money. Okay, so she had 344. So we're going to say that it took like 300 to clear up everything she got. So let's go ahead and get rid of what she has. Right, there we go. So now she's down to 78 simoleons because she spent like 300 clearing all the trash up here. So there we go. And now she is pretty wrecked. Um, she is so tired, super hungry, and she has to pee and she has no space to do any of those things. And there we go. Passed out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's up and she really needs to go to the bathroom but there's nowhere to go i don't i don't know if there's like a public i don't think there's a public restroom anywhere here oh there is one okay cool we can have her use the restroom and pass out <laughs> okay well at least she made it to the toilet before she passed out um so now she's just super tired and super hungry um i don't know where there's any food i think i have to go back to the pub to get food oh <laughs> or I could go over here and eat that random beef jerky cube. Do I dare to eat a faux jerky cube? Yeah, why not? Let's see. <laughs> so gross. Don't eat random food you find outside, guys. Don't do it. It's bad. Uh, but she's starving, so I'm going to have her do it. <laughs> and then she can also dig up this thing while she's here. Oh, God, that looks so gross. It didn't do a lot for her hunger either, but she's happy. It's just okay from eating a harvestable. How is that harvestable? It's, it, uh, what? 
<laughs> whatever i don't care she, she she had some food that's fine um let's see i wonder if any because there's those mushrooms up here they're called like nightly mushrooms i think do they like grow during the night will i see them uh i guess not oh cool oh, oh, oh. hold on there's ones here where are these ones okay strange mushrooms we can pick those all right, so we got a lovely mushroom. Cool. Um, let's head home so we can plant that. And she passed out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. We'll make it home eventually. You got this, Amina. She's so tired. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, she can't water it? She's too uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, Amina, you poor baby. Okay, let's go find the bench and take a nap. And some mushrooms popped up right next to the bench. So we can get those when we wake up. That'll be good. Uh, but until then, let's just have her sleep to try to get up her energy. Ooh, what's this? Only oh, inspired from being by the waterfall? That's so cute. All right, so we got a charming mushroom. So we can go plant that one too. Ooh, uh, what's her face? Uh, Nanami's here, just dancing outside. <laughs> Don't know why she'd want to come to our rundown little house right now. Um, but whatever. She's here, so we can hang out with her later. But let's go ahead and plant this first. And then we got a water. And it's not going to let me. Because she has to be great. I highly doubt she's going to make it. <laughs> she's way over at the top over there. And, ooh, yep. It's, she's got two hours. Can she make it to the bathroom in two hours? 40 minutes. <laughs> no, she's not going to make it she's not gonna make it guys she made it oh my god she actually made it i didn't think she would yay good for her okay that's good because that means we don't have to clean up too much uh what oh it's ghostly i was so confused i just like i looked up at this notification it was like the afterlife can be tough and i was like what the fuck what are you talking about uh but it's because it's ghost night so um yeah that'll be so much fun uh anyways let's go find a nice place to take a picture because uh, we want to get a good picture for uh what's his face um there's not really any super pretty place near here it's just like a bunch of buildings and stuff and like the water is not that nice either um uh, maybe i could have her come down here and take a picture of like this aqueduct looking thing it's not as cool as i thought it might be <laughs> it looks very bland and boring um i don't know i want to get him a good picture but i don't feel like any of this is really that pretty maybe it's just something like this this isn't a very good picture but you know a little taste of the outside world it's got like the mountains the sky the aqueducts and then like these cool buildings we'll just do something like that that gives him an idea of like what's going on and we'll go ahead and take five so that way we can sell the other ones <laughs> But there we go um so we took the photo so we just have to give it back to him um which we'll do later let's actually have um she's all finished here so oops <laughs> wrong button uh we're gonna go ahead and send her back to him on bagley but we're gonna have her go to um we're gonna have her go to finchwick and go into the bar there so that way she can hopefully look for like the mayor and stuff and the uh, grocery delivery guy because like she's feeling pretty good right now i mean she is really tired but if we go to the bar, we can also sleep on the sofa. So that'll be good. Oh, he's here. Okay. So the grocery delivery guy is here. So I can at least give him his photo. Let's give him... Okay, so it looks like most of them turned out pretty bad. I don't want to give him a bad... I'm tempted to give him a bad one just because it wouldn't sell for very much. But I don't want to be like mean. Like This is the only thing he asked for. So I'll give him a decent one. Right, so it's just done. Cool. So there's nothing extra for that. Um, so we still need to talk to, oh, chat about the mayor with, the, oh, I don't need the mayor. I need to talk to him. Okay. I read that wrong. Um, uh, I thought it said chat to the mayor about the grocery delivery, but that's not, okay. I need to talk with him. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I've always felt quite close with the mayor and I feel like I seek their approval before I make big choices. I don't know if they'd approve of me wanting to leave Henford on Bagley, a place that's always meant so much to them. Oh, I know. Do you think you could make them a cross, make a cross stitch for them and ask? Why do I have to make a cross stitch? Bruh. 
bruh, I don't have the shit for that. I don't have shit for that. Are you, oh, this was supposed to be easy. Ugh, okay. God. Um, let me see if I can, I, I still don't have high enough cooking skill. What am I thinking? Kim, can you open your store already? <laughs> Let's see if you sell pies. Do you sell cross stitch, Agatha? Can I even cross stitch if I don't have a cross stitch basket? I didn't even think of that. Okay, I'm gonna buy one just in case. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy one. And hopefully it will work. I don't know. Um, yeah, but she doesn't have chocolate pie, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and check with Kim real fast. See if Kim has one. Um, well, Kim's technically. Can you just walk into the store, please? You are right there. Just walk inside, please. Ugh, okay, either way, while she's doing that, let's see if I can. Oh, I can't stitch. Okay, um, let's just do a simple one. Okay, so I can do a cross stitch without the basket. That's cool. Uh, you, let's buy items. I'm just gonna check to see if she has the pie first. Yeah, there's, she doesn't have a chocolate pie, so uh, there's no point in buying anything from her. So, um, yeah, all I really need is the mayor. I need the mayor so I can get her, um, her easy ones. There she is! Oh my god, she's there! She's there! She's there! She's there! She's there! She's there! So you can finally introduce herself to the mayor uh, while not looking at her. Great. Okay, awesome. And now we can get her errands. So we've got two from her. Uh, welcome to Henfred on Bagley and go say hello. All right, so it looks like this one's just like going on a little tour. And this one is like uh, talking to locals. So we're going to go ahead and take both of those. And now we're full up on errands again. And that's really awesome. We can get started on that stuff. You'll soon love our lovely village. Oh, hugs. Cute. Um, you'll soon love our lovely village as much as I do. Why don't you wander over to Old New Hempford and try to catch a fish in the lake or visit some of the shopping stalls in Finchwick? Perhaps you'd be perhaps you'd be so daring as to do both. Ah, and if I could ask a personal favor, would you kindly talk to the grocery deliverer? We're close, but I've always found it difficult to talk about where our dreams differ. Okay, and then I was putting together some things to send out, and I must have gotten a bit flustered because I managed to seal up this package and plum forgot who it's supposed to go to. Would you mind lugging it around for a bit and see if you can get it to the sim that's waiting on it? Okay, so cool. So those are our two tasks, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll start those tasks in the next episode. So we haven't really done very much for this. Uh, we did a little bit of trash clearing. We've gotten a little bit of extra money. Uh, we're still refusing to still go look at the mayor, but um, we're full up on tasks. Like we've done um, two errands already and we're full up on errands again. So we've got plenty to do next episode and uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. So um, I'm really excited for this and I hope you guys like it too. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.